Okay, we have a treat for you. Another tire change video. This one's a little different because it's POV. And we've heard that this is all the rage. Point of view, right? Yep. Uh, so it's first person. So it's like, you know, those first person games. Mm -hmm. This is like first person real life working on dirt bikes. So we're gonna take, we just loosened our rim lock all the way. We're gonna take out the valve core out of the valve stem. We'll have to remove it all the way. Grab our tire spoon, Motion Pro. Also, we're on a tire stand. That's very helpful in doing tires. And hopefully this view will help give you a better perspective of changing tires. If you want the tire stand drawings to make your own or have a buddy help you, you can just email us. Okay, so now I've got the tire broken off the bead all the way around this side. Now I start with that sprocket side up. I'm just gonna drop it over like that. Go right into here. Boom, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, all the way off. Now I'm gonna start just like fourth of the way away from that rim lock or so. I tuck that one right under the rim, uh, under the rotor there. And then I'm gonna go just about like two and a half, three inches away to the next one. Same thing here. And now they, now their spoons start popping out. We don't need multiple ones now. You can just reach around. Just like that, just like that. And why are we taking off a brand new tire? Because we're gonna go ride that YZ250 right in front of us down some dirt roads and a little bit of asphalt to uh, break it in. And Jed and I wanna ruin this nice new tire before we do our photo shoot. So we'll put these back on for photo shoot and test. Okay, one more. And I can push it with my body like that. So yeah, just push right off. And I get my spoon in here right by the rim lock. And I can pull off the tire and the tube together. Just like that. Now at this point, real quick, we want to make sure your tape is in good. Rim lock is good. Like that. Pull the tube from the tire. Get your new tire. In this case, a used tire. I already got some powder in here. To make it a little easier for install. And it's nice to have powder on the tube for next changes. And just throw this tube in here like that. And then throw this core back in the stem. This little tool, just an automotive tool. It's pretty simple. Get it good, good and tight there. And then just a shot of air. Maybe a tiny bit more. Let's see how that is. Push the tire all the way in. And it might be a tiny bit too much. So I just let a little bit out. Just like that. Okay, so we're all the way out. Uh, I'm gonna get a, a nut. This, this one didn't have a nut on it. I got the nut in my mouth there. What do you think of the POV, Spence? Is this gonna be helpful? It's, it'll for sure be helpful. Yeah, this video is definitely an idea for me. Okay, so our pressure is just barely there, right? I can maybe hit a tiny bit more. Right there. I'm always back and forth on that. And uh, I got tire paste on both sides. We're ready to roll. Oh, I like to just put the nut like a third of the way on. Pop, pop. Nice. Just like that. That's how I get the rim lock back. The valve stem is good on this side. So now at this point, I like to flip over and then just make sure that the uh, tube is on top of the rim lock. Just like that. Start about a third of the way away from the valve stem. Right there. Um, then I push my finger on that rim lock as I go past it. Then I knock it off the bead over here. That bead buddy's a big help. Place my right leg is under the stem. 
And I just push just like that for that last bit. Now we're just going to add some air. I do have to dial this nut down a little lower to get our air in. Okay, so that is a good POV of the tire change. I like to do the rim lock first, just so we don't ever forget. Sometimes I get out of that habit. Now, it is a good idea. I should have flipped the wheel over for you, but I felt it pop up on the other side. But see, like, I, I'm all the way on the bead. You wanna make sure you're all the way on the bead on, on both sides before you tighten that rim lock. And then I can back that nut down a little bit. And we're set pressure. Having a good uh, gauge, like this most part one's good. Okay, so we're good there on air. We'll set our uh, bit of a cap out. I don't see one. Maybe it fell to the floor. And we probably really don't even need a cap for what we're doing. On anyways. We're just going to go hit some dirt and a little bit of asphalt. Okay, YZ250 wheel. POV tire change. Pretty cool. Hey, Dirt Bike TV here. Today, we're going to be talking about why we use the Onyx Off-Road app. The Onyx Off-Road app offers offline maps, which is one of the things we use every single time we go trail riding. All the trail riding we do is off the grid, which means no cell phone signal. So we're able to use the Onyx Off-Road app on our phones and to be able to not get lost and have a ride mapped out beforehand via their desktop version. And I'm able to draw out lines on the computer and plan a coherent loop that everybody can have fun on. Onyx Off-Road also offers open dates and public land information for those who are looking to plan out their ride best. The Elite version even has ownership information, and property boundaries. The features on the Onyx Off-Road app are pretty much endless. You can import old KML and GPX files, and you can even see fire information in real time, as well as in-depth weather analysis. Try Onyx Off-Road today by heading over to the link in our link tree or going over to onyxoffroad.com and using the code DBTV1 for a 20% discount. See you out on the trail.